Hi, Cheese Mellow Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a slime clots me. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so what I've done is I've gone to add new characters, then go on create from scratch, and then go on start from scratch, and then I'm going to go on to female. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably keep the face the same for now whilst doing this tutorial with you guys so I might keep the face the same um, I might add some kind of freckles to go with it like like so some little little stuff like that you can either add a skin tone but I'm gonna go with this skin tone for now so I'm gonna kind of think of what kind of kind of side I'm gonna be making whilst doing this tutorial with you guys so with the hair, I'm going to change it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, obviously I'm on the second row, but I'm going to few layers across. So if I want to go down like, maybe we could do Cyclops me like this maybe, with this hairstyle. Which is on the third row, but you go all the way up to there. Then after you've kind of done that, go on to colours. And you've got like a wide range of colours you can choose from. But for me, I'm kind of looking for one that kind of looks a little bit, you know, a bit more girly, but kind of cool a little bit. I don't know why, but I think this type of um, kind of lightish, violet-y, lavender colour kind of fits in. So I quite like the vibe that it's giving off, so I'm going to go with that. With the eyes, on the other hand, if you want to make a cyclops me have art, but when it comes to your eyes, you need to look for specific ones which I'm going to find which are these ones what you've got to try and do you've got to try and get them together a little bit like so what we do we move the eyebrows quickly so we don't really need eyebrows so we get rid of the eyebrows for now then move the eye so you can see the cyclops me a little bit Yeah, like so. And I'm going to move the nose a little bit. So what I recommend doing is pause the video halfway through while I'm doing this. But I'm not going to make any mistakes or anything. I'm just making sure it, it's not in the in the way in, in, in any shape or form. And right, with the mouth, what I've got to try and do, I've got to try and select this kind of one, the smiley one. And then I just well, basically do it like that. Just a little bit and then move it up like that so there you go so now they've got like a bit of like a cyclops kind of eye in a way one-eyed cyclops in a way but now i'm looking for a mole so then what i've got to do is make this a little bit smaller so go about there make it as small as you can and move it upwards a little bit we'll make it a little bit make it a little bit bigger there you go so now it fills in the actual pupil of the eye so, so far we've actually made a little cyclops here, but I'm not sure what kind of size I want it, but I'm going to do it like that. I could have a tall one, or a I might go there and just stick with that. And I'm going to go with pink to match the cyclops, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to name, name my cyclops. Flora. So that's how you kind of have it really. Okay, so what I'm going to do afterwards, if you guys do have the actual Metopia thing, you might be able to add a little bit more to your Cyclops. If not, you can kind of make your own Cyclops in a, in a different kind of way. But I'm going to show you this if you're doing it on, on Metopia, for example. So here you go. So as you can see, we've managed to load her in which is pretty handy isn't it so now you've got yourself a little cyclops but what i'm going to do i'm going to add some makeup to it so you can see what's going on but what i'm going to say to you is make sure you pause the video halfway through as best as you can because i might be going a little bit quicker than normal but i thought at the end of the day at least you're kind of following along with me 
making your kind of like cyclops but you can also name your cyclops maybe a different name that what i've picked with um with flora for example so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get into the kind of makeup bit in a sec okay okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go on to makeup like so and when it comes to the eyes i would definitely say focusing carefully for this bit because sometimes we can all get a little bit confused with the eyes you might go straight away with these eyes or you could like layer it with a sticker or a mask or something which i'm going to show just in a sec so if you go on to mask i'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recommend mask on this one though okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this dot like it's kind of like circle like so what i'm going to do is i'm going to layer it on top but i'm going to adjust the size just a little bit i want to make sure it fits so we don't want it to go a bit but i want to make sure that it's not mm, make sure it fits a little bit i don't want to make it too like that right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add there you go you kind of got like a little eye actually which is kind of cool so i'm kind of matching with the hair color in a way but what i'm going to do is i'm gonna i might have to remove the nose so my cyclops might have a nose at this rate but this is kind of the easy way of making the eye without having to go into the eye section in makeup go on to mask and you can do this kind of thing you know okay so what i'm going to quickly do is i'm going to get rid of that nose and put it in the middle for you so let's go back onto edit me and then when it goes into nose and then move it down a little bit because at the end of the day at least, at least your cyclops might have maybe a nose of some sort for example so that's why i've kind of gone with and i'm kind of going back again just to make sure so now my cyclops looks just like that but of course how i'm supposed to get a pupil well I'll go back on makeup again and do the same process but I'm making it 10 times smaller just for the pupil so it looks very you know skew with so I'm going to need circle again but what I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it a little bit make it as small as I want and then go on to and then there you go, you've got like a little eye. <laughs> Which was, that was quite simple to do actually. So, but now I'm thinking, how am I going to add like extra adjustments to the eye? Hmm. Now that gets me thinking. If I've got any thinking, maybe mask that I can go to. Because sometimes you can go multiple layers. You go onto other, you can do this. If you did not know that. I've seen all the experts do this before, so I'm going to try it out for myself. And look, just with a simple click, you've now got yourself a kind of a useful kind of looking eye with your Cyclops. But now I'm trying to think, how are we going to post to get like the little other details inside the eye? Well, there's a simple trick for that. Go into sticker and I'm going to... Fill this in with a kind of using a triangle, we're going to adjust the size. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it looks a little bit smaller, like so, and then move it in a little bit so it kind of Hmm, needs to be a little bit smaller than that. Well, I think that doesn't look too bad actually, making a cyclops like that. And then what it can do is change the colour and put. And there you go. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of repeat the process, but I'm going to re rotate it. Oh, of course, I've got to do it all over again. So what I'm going to do is do exactly the same thing, but I'm going to copy it, but rotate it. And 
and there you kind of have it. But I'm not sure about the top bit, but I quite like that actually. So it looks like we're getting somewhere with the Cyclops. And they're thinking, how are we supposed to add like a mouth? Hmm, that's what got me thinking. We need like a kind of like a disguisable mouth. So we might want to add some lips, but how are we going to do that? Hmm, that got me thinking. Should we use the mask feature again? Because it might have... There you go, we've got some lips on the, off the bounce. Let's go. And now, now my Cyclops has now got some lips. I mean, it is quite cool having Metopia has this functionality because it makes it so easier for most of us as creators who like making these, for example, very, very handy. But now what I'm going to do about the, well, what I'm going to do about the eyelashes, well, we could possibly add eyeshadow if we wanted to. Oh, that looks so good. Right, but what we're going to change the colour, I... I'm going to keep it, mm, do I want to go dark purple for this? Yeah, I think I might do. Okay, so we're getting somewhere with that. And then let's have a look at my lashes. Ooh, these are quite fancy. I might go with those and then go back in there again so we can get the under layers. Yeah, I'm going to go with that and then what I'm going to do is go underneath yeah i need to try and adjust it so i'm going to try and do i want to somehow rotate it like so and there you go so we've got ourselves a little cyclops thing but now we're going to do for the kind of i'm going to go on the sheets and get some stuff on there straight away anyway if you're using cheeks. Okay, so what I'm going to do go red or go blue. I might go blue. And then the next part we're going to be doing is I'm not really sure about the eyebrows to be honest, but I'm not going to add them just to show. But you can do this if you want to as well, and have one, one overall if you want. And then I'm probably going to try and match the skin, which is, well it kind of hides it actually. Let me go for a dot. Don't know, go with purple for that. Okay, so so far so good. We've now managed to make a, add some adjustments to our kind of side plots me, which is cool. But now I'm going to get onto the actual wig part of the scene. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go onto wig. So I recommend pausing in between this bit as well, if you want to. Oh, look. Now I finally need to, let's try and get customised. So what I might do is I might go for this. Mm, maybe not. Or maybe this. That kind of that kind of feels like it um or maybe have that in the way so you kind of can't see the eye i'm not sure about that maybe we could have yeah that kind of fits in with the vibe that i'm kind of going with i'm trying to go with like a late autumn vibe with this one so i might go yeah go with that and with the hair we could have it downwards a little bit or on the sides a little bit. Uh, I think I like this one. Okay, now let's let's get to it. So I'm going to go on to hair colour here. I'm going to go with kind of a kind of like a medium purple in a way. And then on the hair tip, I'm going to of course try and match the eye colour with the lavender violet pink. And you kind of that's what you kind of got really. If she looks very pastel, so that's kind of what we kind of looking for. A bit of a pastel y kind of thing, but that's what I've kind of got so far. So if you want to pause a little bit of the video, feel free. Okay, so I think that's about it really. I don't I don't think we but well, we could possibly, but I think I'm just gonna leave them as it is really actually. I think 
I think I managed to show off kind of like how to make a cyclops move, but but using a different cyclops to create in, in the same at the same time. So I thought if I could do the ones that I've already created originally, it might be a bit hard for me to kind of show how I actually made them in a way. So I've kind of made kind of three at the moment. I kind of made one for kind of spring, summer, of course Halloween. But this is kind of like a late autumn one that I've just made. So I've named her Flora, of course. So I thought, what a good name to kind of end kind of the autumn month with, with Flora. And then, of course, when it gets to the Christmas month, what kind of Cyclops we I'm going to make next? It's going to be like, hmm, is it going to be a Christmas one? Or is it not going to be a Christmas themed one? It kind of depends. It depends on what you guys want me to vote on. So I probably would make a community post about it. If it, come, if it comes to mind, okay? Make sure you like on this video. If you're new to my channel and see more of my content, please subscribe. There's a variety of content you might enjoy and might involve. Animal Crossing content, Metopia content, and also other gaming content on this channel. So what I'm kind of planning is for next week is I'm kind of going to mix it up a little bit with videos. And plus, of course, um, I might try to you know come up with another fan art contest idea because i'm kind of thinking about it so kind of stay tuned for that guys and i'll see you guys in the next one so bye